Hey guys, it's Kyrix. Today, I am going to show you how to make an EDM track like Martin Garrix. We are going to remake his track, Follow with Zed. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. With that being said, let's get into it. First, we will make the chord progression. I am using this piano plugin, but you can use any piano plugin that you like. Now let's add more notes to make some chords. Let's bring the middle notes one octave up to make it sound more interesting. Copy and paste the lowest notes one octave down to make it sound fuller. Make sure to randomize the velocities to make it sound more realistic. And that's our chord progression. And with the rhythm and melody added, this is how it sounds. Sometimes, making chord progressions and melodies can be a bit difficult for beginners, especially to those without any knowledge about instruments like piano and drums. The good news is, there's Melodics. Melodics is a great app to help you build your skills and confidence using your MIDI keyboard, pad controller, and electronic drum kit. Melodics has thousands of courses, lessons, and exercises that give you real-time feedback. Using this app is very fun. It's like playing a game. One of my favorite is the chords lesson where it teaches me how to play major and minor chords and this is really a big help for me when making music in my DAW. So, if you really want to enhance your skills and become a better music producer, try Melodics. It's free to download and the team at Melodics are giving away $1,000 to anyone who sign up using my link below. Just enter the promo code and not only will you go into the draw to win $1,000, you will also get a big discount on monthly and annual subscriptions. So hurry because this deal ends soon. Big thanks to Melodics for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video, we have this violin. Let's add the sub bass. Next, let's add the chords. Using this speech bend knob, I have linked all of them into one automation clip. This is a nice way to add a tape stop effect without using any plugin. Next, 
Now it's time for the drop bass line. melody. Super simple build up. Next is the drums. Finally, the plot. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video and be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you on the next one. Here's the final result.